Hola and welcome to my channel. On this video I'm going to show you how I painted this beautiful wedding bouquet. I made this painting as a surprise gift for a family member and I really hope she really likes it. Here's a list of paints that I used for this artwork. The main brands that I used were Liquitex, Golden and Lucas. And later on I'm going to be discussing why I chose them and what I liked about each. The paper I'm using is the Fabriano Studio watercolor paper 8x10 cold press 140 pounds. I begin doing a rough draft as usual and as you can see I tend to start a new painting with the colors used from the previous painting. Here you can see that I already have a green on the corner and the center of this painting. Doing this guides me and helps me decide what my color palette is going to be. Here I'm using the circles as placeholders and trying to figure out where things go in relation to each other. Once I finish doing the layout, which I'll be using as a map, I begin doing a mix of yellow ochre and titanium white, which give me a sort of a beige, and I use that as my base color for the roses. After I finish filling in all of the roses, I go back with a pure yellow ochre and then after that I begin working on the base. I start off with a dark brown because this is where the shadow goes and then I also use a medium tone and a light tone to start building on the 3D effect. I noticed that the top beige looked beautiful against the green, so I started applying it all over the painting. And here I did a mix of ultramarine blue and white, and I began doing the background layout for the blue flowers. At this point I begin working on the leaves, which is a mix of ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow and titanium white. And I'm just basically filling in wherever the leaves are supposed to be and just doing the first layer on the entire painting. At this point I'm not being too careful or too detailed about the leaves because eventually most of this will be covered. Here I'm mixing a mint green. Now I add more white to my mint mix because I'm going to use it on the background as well as on the leaves. I'm doing this because I feel that the background needs to be softer so making my mix lighter will give it that soft feeling that I'm looking for. I like that color so much that I decided to use more of it for my background.
Since this is a wedding bouquet, I'm trying to make it look as delicate as possible. So the colors that I'm using are not overly saturated. To achieve this, I use a hint of its complementary color. So for instance, if I'm using a green, I put a little bit, a tiny little drop of red and that helps to tone down the color. Here I'm just continuing to fill in whatever I hadn't filled in before with a taupe color which is a mix of brown and white Now at this stage I begin working on the second layer for the leaves and this mixture is an 80-20 ratio of ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow. I often listen to music while I paint. I feel that music and art are directly connected and so here's a short list of the types of music that I listen to. Mostly is 90s alternative and also instrumental such as piano and violin. For the stems I'm using burnt sienna. It's This one is straight from the tube so I didn't mix any of it. And for the roses I'm using a mixture of yellow ochre and umber. The consistency of my paint is that of ketchup, so it's not too thick and it's not too thin, with the exception of whenever I want to do glazing, then I add more water. So what am I feeling as I'm painting? Uh, for the most part, I lose track of time. Um, each painting is different. For some paintings I feel sad, some paintings I'm happy, and for this particular one I feel a sense of serenity, mostly due to the colors. I'm usually led by intuition rather than how things have to be or should be, and I really hate planning too much. Um, most of my paintings I have an idea on my mind sorry, an idea on my mind and then I begin working on the painting but I don't have the exact colors all the time, all the colors figured out and I just make it up as I go. Here I'm just continuing to add more detail. And here I'm adjusting the size of the roses because I feel that they need to be bigger. For me, painting is sort of a dance. I add some and take away some, depending on what I'm trying to achieve. Now I start concentrating on the leaves and adding more detail to them. Now 
now i'm adding some highlights and i just added more white to the green that i already had And here I'm doing a glaze of transparent titanium white. Okay, so I, I'm at the point of the video where I think I can stop and talk about the different types of brands that I use. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Acrylic. And I like this one because of the colors and also because of the richness and thickness um, I really like using it alone or together with the Lucas acrylic which overall is my favorite consistency because it's not too thick and it's not too thin I find it just perfect for um, doing working on the painting throughout doing all of the different layers that I need to and then the final one is the golden uh, the transparent colors and I love this for glazing they do a really good job of, um, of for transparency and for achieving different effects So whenever I'm using a reference pictures, I usually use them at the beginning to lay down the foundation and towards the end. And I only use them as a guide. While I'm working on the painting, I rarely look at them. So in between the start and the end, it's just me playing around and experimenting. Here I'm using a transparent brown iron oxide. I'm using it because I thought that the roses were too pale and that I needed to do more contrast to show the detail. Now I'm using a mix of Golden's Titanium White and Lucas Titanium White because I want the petals to look brighter.
I decide to do a glaze using golden transparent yellow iron oxide because I feel that this will soften my values. Then I go back and do some highlights where the light touches and then after that I do a glaze with transparent white. Now I'm working on the details for my blue flowers. And here I'm doing some of the highlights and the final touches. Here I'm adding uh, more detail with a series of dots and this is basically I added more cadmium yellow to my green mix which I did previously um, which is a mix of ultramarine blue with coming yellow and um, a bit of white so that's what I did here just added more yellow to it Since I'm happy with the painting, at this point I just go ahead and sign it. And here is the finished piece.
Here's a sneak peek for my next video. And don't forget that it's okay to start ugly. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.